When you think about Imperial 75 as the foundation in our aquaculture business, no different than sweet brand was the foundation in beef and dairy. We took what was formerly a, again, a byproduct through more of a byproduct model or mentality and concentrated the protein uh, so that users would not be as reliant on equipment or assets to store. You could get more protein in the bin. Uh, it also had some extrusion benefits through the design of Imperial 75 to create a um, more consistent um, feed that was able to bind better. So you had these physical attributes that um, extended beyond just nutritive requirements for an animal, whether it's a salmon, shrimp, or, or uh, some species of pet food. And uh, it was again just sitting down, trying to understand in Imperial 75 or in the aqua or pet space, what are some of the limitations? What are some of the sources of frustrations? Um, would they benefit from a higher concentration of protein? Can it replace animal proteins uh, and, and not lose performance? If we can improve the efficiency, the cost, the experience at any point in the value chain, uh, that's a common value proposition for an entire industry. Products like Imperial 75 uh, and even our other branded ingredients in the other space create a, you know, they're a unique offering that no one other than uh, Cargill and our business uh, manufacturer. You start to think about um, benefits around sustainability and consistency of protein. So those were all things, again, this, this consistent lens through which we think about how should it be, how could it be different, how is it today? You can't spot opportunity without understanding how it is today and how it should be tomorrow.